Good morning, everybody. It's Joe. I'm headed up to Denver to meet my prosthetics guy, my leg guy, if you will. I am so excited to be able to finally do this. Um, it's been a little while in coming, and uh, what's going to happen today is I'm going to get fitted for a shrinker, hopefully get that today, and then answer a bunch of questions and talk with him and just make sure that we each have well and kind of see what the next step is going to be. I won't actually be fitted for a prosthetic and casted for it for a couple weeks because there's a lot more swelling that needs to go down, a lot more healing that needs to happen. But this is kind of just like the introductory process and getting everything started. So I'm gonna head up to Denver and take you guys with me. You may notice that we're not actually in a prosthetics office right now. I really wanted to get film in there and show you guys more of the office and the appointment, but there were a couple issues like filming walking on crutches doesn't really work, and I was about 20 minutes late to the appointment because there was a major accident on the highway, so we were pretty rushed, but I wanted to talk you through what my first prosthetics appointment looked like because I didn't really know what I was walking into and I had a lot of questions so I wanted to see if I could answer some of those for you guys who are facing maybe your first prosthetics appointment. We covered a number of different things. We covered which K level I fell into. I'll talk about that in just a second. We talked about what kind of foot, what kind of leg I would be getting and uh, we answered a lot of questions that I had and he asked me a lot of questions and talked about the overall process like what uh, the next few months of my life as it related to prosthetics would look like. The first thing I want to talk about was K levels. So there's K1, 2, 3, and 4. So that is a way of classifying for insurance purposes how active you are and it essentially boils down to how much insurance is going to work with you for what kind of leg. So if you're K1, which is really inactive, basically in bed all the time, they're not going to buy you a very active leg that's built for running or anything like that, right? So when you meet with your prosthetist, at some point you're going to be tested for K levels if you're working with insurance. K3 is what most Americans fall into. That's if you're, you know, walking, you're generally pretty active. You can do most daily activities. I tested into K4, which I was really excited for because I am a very active person and um, I cannot wait to get back to doing things. And so by being able to test into that, insurance should be uh, more willing to work with me for a higher activity leg. Then I got to meet my leg. That sounds weird, doesn't it? I will be getting this leg. This is the Osser ProFlex XC Torsion Leg. Doesn't that sound exciting? Now, I didn't get to bring it home or anything like that. It'll still be three to five weeks before I can begin to think about putting any pressure on my leg, but this is for the sake of ordering it. So we determined with my activity level, with what I'm looking to accomplish with this leg, what leg do I need? And so one of the first questions they asked me was, do I care more about being able to do active things or wear high heels? And I was like, do active things for sure. So they determined this would be the best leg for me, put that in the notes and ordered it. Something I didn't know is that they are not actually ordering things through insurance. They need to be working with your doctor, be that a surgeon or primary care or something like that to actually order the prescription of the leg. So they're gonna be working through my pain management doctor, which means that I need to schedule an appointment to meet with my doctor, talk about that and get that prescription of my leg ordered. I also got my shrinker today, which I'm really excited about because it means that maybe my leg will be in less pain. People have told me that it definitely helps having that compression. The point of a shrinker is to reduce swelling in that residual limb and shape it appropriately. So I'm in a number three right now, hopefully going down to a number two if my limb will comply with that. The appointment ended with, you know, making sure I didn't have any additional questions and that the next step would be meeting in two weeks to get casted for my socket. And then after that, I would start learning to walk on my new leg. So he'll have that ordered and in stock in stock. That's so weird to say about your leg. My leg will be in stock by the time that I am cleared by my surgeon to start walking and we should be good to go here in a couple weeks. So things are moving along well. That's what my first appointment looked like. I also started mirror therapy yesterday. My husband brought home a mirror and it is really interesting. 
let me know if you'd like to see a video about that. I'll definitely put one out here in a little while. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know if you have met with your prosthetist yet and what questions you have or what questions you had at that point. You guys have an awesome day. I'm going to ice my leg and lay down because it's been a long day, as you may be able to tell from my drooping eyes and my cracking voice. So yeah, I'm going to go to sleep now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.